alpha options give you finer control over the alpha settings for your material. So in this case we're using an alpha mask which is just black in the center and white on the edges, so a smooth gradient. Let me just switch to the transparent shader real quick so you can see what that looks like. So the center is see-through and the edges are not. All right, let's go back to cutout. Now, the alpha cutoff is just a value that sort of makes it so that things below it are not rendered at all. So if I set the alpha cutoff to 0.5, anything below 0.5 opacity is not going to be rendered at all. And as I increase that all the way up to just over one, nothing will render because nothing is that high. At the maximum opacity is one, so if I set this to 1.001, it means nothing can render. And as I lower that, you'll see more and more of the model rendering. So by default, that's at 0.5. And if you switch to the transparent shader, so Poyomi Advanced <clears throat> Transparent, you'll see that it does the same thing. So if you ever run into this and you don't want it, just set the alpha cutoff to zero and your problem will be solved. So I'm just gonna switch back real quick. Alpha mod is, it may look like it's doing the same thing, but it's not. What's actually happening here is that the alpha mod is adding to the transparent value or the alpha value. So if I increase the alpha mod, it's making it more opaque and sort of making that hole smaller. And if you decrease it, it's going to make that hole bigger. Dithering is, well, it's, it sets up a pattern of pixels as the alpha decreases. So let me just turn this, oops, wrong one. Let me just turn this so you can see more colors in the background. But what's happening here is that where it's fully opaque, it's just white and everything is rendered, and then it, re it renders fewer and fewer pixels as you get towards a less opaque area. And once you hit fully transparent, it doesn't render anything at all. And this is sort of, this is meant to look like it's transparent, but obviously you can see here, it's not doing that great of a job. And what we can do to fix that is go into the rendering options and set alpha to mask on. And then we just gotta drop the alpha cutoff and you'll get something that looks very similar to a transparent material. How this works is when you have alpha to mask enabled, it actually gives you eight levels of transparency in the cutout shader versus 255 that you would get in the transparent shader. It does this by taking advantage of anti-aliasing. And one issue with that is that for some reason Unity decided in 2018 that the scene view is just not going to have anti-aliasing. So you're going to have to go into game view to look at this. And if you increase the dither gradient, which just softens it, set that to one, you get what looks pretty transparent actually. And the reason you would use this over a transparent shader is if you had, say, transparent, you had like blush that was just over your face that you toggled on and it, it's supposed to look transparent, but it's on the same material as your face and you don't want to separate the materials to have transparent blush and opaque skin. You can just use the cutout with the alpha damask enabled and you will get what basically looks like transparent blush without having to make more materials. So I'm just gonna disable dithering. Uh, the force opaque does exactly what you think it does. It just forces everything to be opaque, gets rid of all transparency. Uh, you probably, you may have a use case for this, but generally if you're using force opaque, just switch to the opaque shader. This is just if you're having issues with certain parts of a uh, mesh. Shadow clip mod is, so you can see the shadow, whoops, you can see the shadow below this is not really functioning correctly in this case because we have 
alpha to mask on and our clip was set to zero so in this case you would see the shadows working perfectly it's matching what you were what you'd want but if we went back to this and you see that's not working um the issue here is just that the shadow can't the shadow pass can't really determine the exact like exactly how it should look and the shadows are just not being rendered correctly through this hole so you can go into your shadow clip mod and sort of increase it to match that perfectly you're probably almost never going to run into this situation but there are ways that you can make it happen in ways that it can happen so just know that this is a way to fix that so if you have hair and it looks like the hair is like cutting stuff out behind it just mess with your clip mod like your shadow clip mod a little bit until the hair is just functioning correctly alpha to coverage and mip level alpha scale is used to sort of smooth this edge right here but there's an issue with it right now where it's not functioning correctly after a lot of the changes i did so i'm going to go into that and fix it in the next patch or two but just know that this setting does set it up so that the edge looks a little bit smoother it uses those eight levels of transparency that we saw earlier to soften up the edge and that covers alpha options i hope you learned something if you have any problems with this or anything else in the shader feel free to join the discord in the description below thanks for watching